So very briefly, this is how you get started with Profus Layout Office on the on your computer. Again, this is just a very basic point creation software, but you can bring in a CAD file and get started. But this is just the first few steps that you can take to make sure that you know what you're doing and that you can get something prepared to take to the field. Uh, number one, data manager. You can either open a project existing or create a new project. This is going to be able to hold every single CAD file that you want to put in there because you're going to create a new project. I already created this demo file. Then you come here and you say new job. And you can call this floor one. You can call it um, you know, Main Street, whatever you want to call it. But basically, every single job you create, it's going to come in under the, pro the actual project. And so I can add a CAD to each of these if I wanted to. I can come in here and add a CAD. But just the idea behind it is that each of these projects, each of these jobs, are going to be aligned. And to give you an idea, if I put a control point onto this project, that control point is going to transfer between each and every job in this project. So unless your CAD files align and they all use the same controls, make sure that uh, don't put them in under the same project. But if they all align, you can put them all on the same project. So let me delete these jobs real quick, but that's the idea behind it. So that's step one, create a project and create a job. So the second step is when you have your project in here, create your control points. And the way you do that is you go to point creation, single mode, and just make sure you select what you want to snap to. That's all it is. So I use a lot of intersections of lines. And I'm going to go ahead and just start snapping. One, two, three, four. Or center of grids. I'll zoom in here. One and two. I'll just put them up here to get the idea. The idea behind this is you're putting your control points out in the field on the AutoCAD while at the same time making sure that those control points are going to match in the field. So my control points are set. I know that if I take this and put this on my tablet, I will be able to measure to these control points in the field and station my unit. So number three is put your layout points out there. So I'm going to right click, switch over to layout points, call them whatever I want, say OK and start placing some points in single mode of points you want to lay out. Notice that these are circles. Layout points do not transfer from job to job and are job specific. So step one, create a project, add a job. Step two, put the CAD in there. And step three, create your points. Um, the way you put a CAD into your job is by simply going up to either data manager and import or the import button up here. You go to import and right here is your drawing. And you can pull from um, yeah so I'm pulling from my USB. That's all it is. You just import the drawing and it goes right into here and just make sure you import it with the correct drawing units. So that this button here import drawing or this button up here import drawing. So to recap Add a project, add a job, and then import your drawing. Then add your points under point creation. Add your points, and then final step is to export the entire project all together as an HPL30 file, which will then be placed onto your PLC 400 red tablet, and you are good to go.